So the next question is going longer than 24 hours without bathing. Who is coming up with these questions? Like, ew, no. That is, okay, that is extremely nasty. Like, manifa wash ma pum pum okay? Like, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> So, I've been seeing a lot lately about a mom tag floating around, like the whole never have I ever mom edition. So, I was like, hey, I have two kids, why not do the tag? So, I feel like this should be really fun. So, let's just jump into this. The so first question says, for breeze or body spray, a dirty clothing item and warning. <laughs> Wow, I would have to say I Febreze like a dirty shirt to like go run to the corner store or something or run like down the block to the supermarket or something but not to like actually go out to like maybe an uh, event or you know go to work or anything like that. So the second question is don't close in the dryer to avoid ironing them. I don't even own a dryer so that answer is going to be no. So the third question is, throw a dish or a Tupperware away to avoid washing it. Yes, I do this a lot. Especially when you have those um, those plastic containers and you done had like some spaghetti or like curry chicken in it. And you know how it just stand up the bowl. I, I don't even, look, I don't got time to be washing that out because y'all know curry stain. I don't have time for that, so in the garbage it goes. The fourth question is, let kids win a game so it could be over with already. Um, I, no, I haven't did this because Nizir is a sore loser just like me. He is a sore loser and he will literally drag every single thing. I don't know if it's the Leo in him, but he will drag every single thing if he does not win. Like, he would really be upset. So, the next question is, going longer than 24 hours without bathing. Who is coming up with these questions? Like, ew, no. That is, okay, that is extremely nasty, like... Manifa wash my poom poom them, okay? Like, no. <laughs> what? So the next question is, told a child to pee on themselves while potty training. No. What? <laughs> who is coming up with these questions? Like, who made this tag? No. So the next question is, told a child later, 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 and later never comes all the time, all the time. I am doing this all the time, so yes, I definitely do that. So the next question is, bought food and pretend that I made it. No, because one, if anybody know me, I love to cook. So that will never happen unless it is in a unless it is a dessert like cakes and cookies. I'm not too good with that at all, and I'm not trying to burn down my apartment. So if it's cakes and cookies, then you know maybe maybe I may say that, but like food, food, no. Next question is, fed my kids cereal or noodles for dinner? Yes, I have. Especially when you just have those mom days, those really moments when you're extremely tired or you just don't really feel good. And the quickest thing there is to make is a bowl of cereal or some oodles and noodles. And my kids eat cereal from the box like it's nothing like they don't need milk they can eat plain old cereal from the box and i don't understand how they can because it's like i be thinking like your mouth is not dry like but yes i have done that the next question is worn worn pajamas or robe out of the house 
no i was always taught to never leave your house in pajamas mm -mm, that was a big flat out no no the next question was, have I ever forgotten about the tooth fairy? No, because I have not gotten to that stage yet. Nizia or Harmony hasn't lost any teeth, so no, I haven't. Next question is, never have I ever dozed off on the toilet. <laughs> Y'all, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I have done this before. When Isaiah was a baby, for some reason, when we brought him home, just could not get him to sleep. Like, well, me personally, I couldn't get him to sleep. I just couldn't get him to sleep. Daddy could, but I just couldn't. And, you know, sometimes I was just going to the bathroom and I would just sit on the toilet put my arm on the sink, lay my head on my arm, and then next thing I know, I'm out for the count. Like, it just happens. The next question is, never have I ever ran an errand runaway? Yes, I have. Sometimes as a mom, you just need your moment. Like, so much could be just going on. The kids could be fighting. They, they could just be yelling, screaming, getting into stuff. And you just need your moment. So, yes, I have done this before when I tell babe, like, look, I'm going to the store or I'm going to the supermarket and I end up at Target or Burlington. Like, and then I come back in the house and he'd be like, well, I thought you you know you was going to the store and i'd be like well i did <laughs> oh so yeah i have did that before so the next question is never have i ever been bitten by my kids no my kids have never bitten me even during breastfeeding they never bitten me before next question is never have i ever bitten my kids nails Yes, I have bitten their nails, their toenails. Sometimes you cannot find a nail clipper, especially those baby nail clippers. I have bought a million and one baby nail clippers, and it just, I don't know, they just vanish. Like, the nail clipper guards just come and take them, and they just vanish. So, only thing I'm left to do is bite their nails or bite their toenails, like, I don't know kids nails they just grow so fast and so the next question is never have I ever caught puke in my hands yes I have not only did I caught puke in my hands I caught puke in my wig I caught puke running down my neck to my back I'm telling y'all being a parent we take and we endure a lot, a lot. When Isaiah was younger, he could not, he could not take Infamil. I done tried every single Infamil there was. Isaiah could not take it. And anybody who know Nas know how he was when he was a baby. I'll give him Infamil after he finished feeding. He would throw up and it would come out like a like a, a river like it was the puke would just come out his mouth and then i found out he couldn't drink infamil and i had to switch his formula to similac and once i put him on similac he was fine and then it was one time harmony was just um she wasn't feeling good she was asleep and i was laying next to her and then she just went <coughs> and then that and I thought I was quick enough, but I wasn't. Before I knew it, she done threw up all in my wig. And it, it was hot. It was so hot. She threw up all on the side of my neck. It dripped down to my back, y'all. I had to take a shower after that because it was just a mess. So the next question is, never have I ever Googled my child's symptoms. Yes, I have. Um, Don't do it because y'all would be out here overthinking driving yourself crazy and be thinking y'all gotta rush your child to the emergency room stay off google i even do it for myself and i just be like oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god don't do it y'all just just don't do it so the next question is never have i never have i ever bribed my child yes i have i do this a lot surprisingly especially 
with both of them. My favorite thing is pick up your toys and you get a snack. Or each eat all your food, you can get a snack. And then I'll just find something, a re just the smallest reason not to give them what I told them I was going to give them. Like, okay, I told you to eat all your food, you didn't eat all your food, you don't get a snack. Or I told you to pick up your toys, you didn't pick up your toys, you give lip back, so now you don't give a snack. So now you don't get a snack. It's just that simple. <laughs> so yes, I have bribed my kids before. The next question is, never have I ever lied to my kids about what time it was. Yes, I have. I don't know, for some reason, Isaiah is always asking what time it is. Like he got a date or something. Like he got to go to work or something. And I'll just be like, it's 5 o'clock. Like you should be asleep or you should be taking a nap. And speaking of him, he just woke up from a nap, too. Hi, baby. Sit right there so mommy could finish recording. I'm almost done. So the next question is, never have I lost a toy on purpose? No, I haven't, but I have hitting a toy. Like, Nizia has this fire truck. You could just press the buttons and it just go off. It just go off. The truck don't have no on and off switch. And Harmony loved that favorite toy. Like, she loved to hear the sound. And it just go off non-stop, non-stop. And I, one day, I just had a really bad headache. And I just hit the toy in the closet. So the next question is, never have I ever used my kid as an excuse? Yes, I have. Um, there's been plenty of times where I... I've been asked to come somewhere or asked to go out and I'd be like, oh no, I can't go. I don't have a babysitter. And knowing damn well, I really didn't want to go to begin with. So you guys have kids and somebody asks you, oh, let's go do this. Let's go do that. Hit them with the, oh, I don't have a babysitter. It always works. I'm telling you guys, it always works. The last question is, never have I ever whisper scream. Yes, I have. And for you ladies who don't know what a whisper scream is, it's one of those screams that goes like this. If you don't sit your behind down right now. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Y'all, I do that a lot. Like, I do that a lot. I don't... <laughs> As crazy as it sounds, like, I don't know, kids be take, kids will take you from here to here real quick. I'm telling you, you ladies, you men who have kids, y'all know what I be talking about. Like, they will take you from zero to a thousand real quick. So, guys, that is all the questions for the mom tag. Any moms who's watching this video, I tag you guys to do the mom edition. Never have I ever tag. I hope you ladies or gentlemen enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to comment down below as well as like this video and hit that subscribe button and also turn on all of your post notifications so every time I upload a video, you guys can be notified. And like I always say, don't forget to be your own kind of you. Stay beautiful and stay blessed. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.